previous speakers, uh, let me uh, thank the organizers, uh, African Brains, and um, uh, the Minister of Education, Sports and Culture here, the host country, uh, uh, Senator David Kruta, uh, for the uh, thoughtful uh, consideration to include us in this uh, uh, very memorable and, uh, you know, uh, very uh, exciting event, and uh, which is quite informative also. Um, and to take this opportunity also to uh, to uh, uh, bring greetings uh, uh, or even to greet uh, the ministers here present, uh, the permanent secretaries, uh, the deputy PSs, uh, the uh, chief. Uh, the CEOs and directors of the uh, various uh, organizations here present in, in uh, ICTs, that is the public, uh, parastatal, and the privates that are here to do with ICTs, and uh, all the distinguished guests and ladies and gentlemen, uh, good morning to you all. and. Um, uh, let me also take this opportunity as well to uh, bring apologies uh, from uh, our Minister of uh, Education, Skills and Development, uh, Honorable Mrs. Delunomi Benson Mitoi, uh, who uh, didn't have, uh, due to a busy schedule, was not able to show up for this, for this event, uh, but uh, I was very uh, willing uh, to come up uh, to attend and be with you, uh, ministers. Uh, but instead, uh, uh, I'm here with uh, our one of our directors, uh, Mr. Ram Rocha, who is uh, uh, the co-author of the, uh, the presentation that I'm just uh, about to make to you right now. And uh, <clears throat> now coming back to the uh, back to the presentation. When we are invited, we thought uh, it's a it's a priceless opportunity that uh, we be here to mix with the uh, the people from the ICT community <coughs> and uh, just share our experiences of our uh, of the ICT in the country um, <coughs> in education especially. Um, so <coughs> here uh, about ICT. ICT for an education in Botswana. Uh, we have uh, uh, that, uh, it's about that, so that uh, to show our our achievements or what we have, uh, we have done uh, or what we are doing about the call for ICT in education. Um, we thought we'll bring a uh, these ideas uh, to show the difference that we, we try to make uh, in this presentation to uh, show our perception of the ICT. And uh, ICT, uh, as in education uh, particularly, uh, I must point out that uh, the country has uh, uh, ICT policy uh, that I'll refer to uh, a little later on since uh, two, 2000 and. Uh, 2007, and but uh, we haven't come up with the uh, ICT policy yet for education. But our perception of ICT in education um, uh, is, is like that. We, are, we think here it's about technologies used for improving our performance in handling information. Really. And uh, in education, those are the things, uh, the ICTs that we think uh, are to make a difference in helping us. Uh, uh, in making, uh, improving the performance in education. Uh, we know in the old dark days, uh, we started with things like the Roger Roger and uh, uh, other telecommunication systems before they came, like phone and faxes, that medias, uh, media like uh, CDs, DVDs, and others like that, um, computer laboratories, smart classrooms, uh, other technologies that come in, like the internet, uh, and uh, uh, instructional softwares, printed media also, uh, 
like the blackboard that was referred to, uh, we consider that uh, to be part of the ICT's education and education. And uh, computers made just uh, uh, a part of that, of the part of the, uh, the ICT's that we have. Um, and uh, by the way, um, our our neighbors, uh, Namibia, that was uh, that has been uh, whose ideas have been eloquently presented by our peers. Uh, we happen to uh, to be able to, uh, to 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 benchmark with them on a number of uh, a number of issues, uh, including even this one. While we are still grappling with coming up with our own policy, uh, what. Uh, uh, we can consider as ICTs in, our, in education. So um, we have government policies, government policies on, uh, on ICT, um, and the government policies to ex expose uh, uh, children to education uh, in ICT uh, for, a, for a knowledge-based society. That comes from uh, our, or through, through Tutonet. Tutonet, uh, Tutor is, uh, is the uh, local weight uh, from the local language uh, for education, and if you, if you like, you may refer it like uh, like it is referred commonly as a school net if you want, uh, but uh, locally it's, called, it's commonly known as tutor net, uh, where we consider programs like uh, schools connectivity, um, education management system EMIS, and. Uh, Computer in schools, uh, uh, like repair workshops and uh, the program for getting computers to the schools, uh, be it a primary or secondary, and then uh, professional development for instructors and uh, school managers. Uh, also, uh, we considered uh, from the policy uh, the second university that is coming up and uh, whose intake uh, is likely to happen this year. Uh, this year, around uh, August or just before the end of the year, um, to be dedicated to <coughs> ICT-based uh, skills, courses in ICT-based skills. And that uh, comes from the government policy uh, papers. And then um, the computerization project, as usual, uh, whose main aim was to get uh, the computers in all our, uh, in all our secondary schools, uh, there yeah, are as, uh, as many as that, 235, that is including uh, junior schools and uh, senior, senior secondary schools. So it was computer labs for, computer labs for, the, for those schools and equipping them for ICT-based teaching and learning. Uh, it was that time uh, it was done without, uh, without the internet uh, connectivity at 2003, which is to come later. Um, the, the computer labs, this, uh, this way to provide uh, the computer curriculum. Um, our department for curriculum uh, came up with the uh, computer awareness, the computer awareness uh, syllabuses, um, and uh, also there's examinable and general computer studies uh, for senior secondary level. Uh, so uh, you are servicing these uh, sectors, but uh, not only that, um, but other subject areas by way of uh, by way of integration of any computer-based uh, teaching and learning from any other subject. That's why uh, we call it computer awareness, which is uh, sort of uh, examined indirectly by uh, you know the learners and the instructors of different subjects. Uh, being able to use a tool uh, called a computer in a computer lab. So that's what the facility was provided for. Um, <clears throat> now the, now the, uh, the resources uh, that uh, we, we have to have, to have in place ready to actualize this uh, uh, school's computerization. We need those resources. Um, structures uh, where uh, were provided like our IT unit uh, for providing the, 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 the backbone structures that are needed uh, for these uh, technologies uh, to, to, to be received or to, to, to write upon. And then um, we also thought uh, taking this to the schools, uh, computerization in government is just by schools performance. For, uh, 
for the sake of coordination and, uh, and integration, we needed a responsible officer there, uh, where aware of a teacher, uh, to be taking care of that uh, at senior teacher level. And then uh, later, the, there came a need of uh, a lab technician uh, by way of uh, what we call computer programmers, but uh, maybe like lab technicians uh, to, be pro uh, to be taking care of, uh, uh, of, of the systems, the uh, systems administration uh, within the lab and uh, the user support since it's a, it's a new venture. And then um, lately, that uh, just, just because it's, uh, it's just a few uh, synopsis of what has been provided. Uh, the, the department uh, of our department of uh, ICT and media services in uh, within the Ministry of Education uh, besides uh, besides the, the department of uh, information technology that is covering uh, catering for all the ministries in government. Uh, we had to have this one uh, after the restructuring of our our ministry. There was a need uh, to make this establishment uh, to be in charge uh, to this department that uh, uh, my boss there, Mr. Ramoroka, is in charge of. Is in, uh, in charge, is taking care of ICT, all ICT and media functions within the education. So um, after that computerization, then there is a need for uh, software provision, usually software. Uh, Comes and uh, when we started uh, with the uh, scarce financial resources, we had to uh, engage or use the uh, you know license-free open source Linux servers uh, in the in the schools, and then uh, also there was uh, uh, to, to avoid uh, users. Uh, for users, we had to provide uh, the softwares uh, for the users in the for the workstations uh, that could be used. The normal uh, Office, uh, Microsoft Office, that uh, for familiarity uh, and so on. Even though we started with the license-free Open Office uh, and others, but for support uh, and uh, to ensure that uh, users are well taken care of, uh, we provided. Uh, uh, we got in partnership with uh, Microsoft about the school the school agreement. Is, uh, while the rest of government is uh, benefiting from the enterprise agreement, but the school agreement uh, for affordable software pricing. Uh, also, we got uh, into that kind of agreement with Microsoft, and uh, with that, uh, that meant we are spending about two million uh, a year for that coverage, uh, covering both new and old PCs. Uh, in the schools, and uh, that two million, million comes to about uh, roughly about two hundred and fifty thousand uh, US dollars, uh, and uh, we have a reseller within the country uh, for that kind of uh, service. Um, now, the ministry is seriously considering uh, the open source alternative. Um, we are in the second year of that uh, last uh, last term, and. Uh, uh, with, after which uh, we will give serious consideration to uh, the open source alternative, as uh, uh, is called uh, is called for by our education, uh, I mean our ICT policy. Um, then, uh, like other IT uh, ministries uh, in charge of IT are considering uh, education. Um, our Ministry of uh, Transport and Communication came up with the uh, connectivity solution for the schools, uh, schools connectivity project in 2007. And uh, <coughs> uh, this, uh, this, uh, uh, this, uh, this project was a 20, 20 month uh, project uh, that was completed in 2007. Uh, at that time, uh, we are just focusing on the uh, the secondary schools, there were two, 234 of them that were done at that time because the third, uh, the idea uh, on indicated that there were 235 in terms of the last one was still being built. So, um, with that, uh, the new schools uh, that come uh, up after that are connected as they, as they come. But at that time, uh, it took just uh, uh, about 20. 
20 months uh, to connect those schools to internet, broadband internet connectivity. Uh, we are using, uh, we are using uh, in the, the, the facilities in our national television for, uh, for sharing of that bandwidth uh, that they had, uh, that light uh, within the, uh, that was used by the, by the national television. So we shared the, the, the resources there uh, for, for the sake of speed, to speed up uh, the connection of getting the schools connected. Uh, Speed. Now, uh, we had another project that, like I uh, indicated earlier, on we benchmark on a number of them, and uh, another one where we went back to the market area before that was on the refurbishment, the computer refurbishment project uh, in 2008, around 2008 or before that, uh, in Namibia again. Uh, but we started the project uh, uh, for donated PCs. Uh, to say the old pieces that are in government and any donated ones, uh, we take them to the refurbishment center uh, for uh, refurbishing, uh, for, 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 for equipping our, our primary schools. And uh, it's a primary school project that is uh, shared between the three ministries, Ministry of Education and uh, the other sister ministry, Ministry of Transport and Communication plus the Ministry of Local Government that is uh, taking care of the primary schools that are all over the country, about 800 of them. Um, so, so far, uh, up, to, up to from July 2009 to, uh, up to end of last year, uh, just about December, we had uh, 200 and, uh, 295 uh, primary schools supplied with this. Uh, refurbished computers, uh, 10 for each, each one of the schools. Uh, they were installed with those licenses. Um, <clears throat> now, uh, the refurbishment center also is used for giving practical experience uh, to, the, uh, to the students in, in colleges and, uh, and brigades. So uh, with that, that is about uh, the that is about the uh, computerization, which uh, takes the bulk of uh, the bulk of uh, of the ICTs. Uh, with that, like I indicated, it's not just about the computers, but also we have uh, we have the VCRs, the VCRs and uh, the TVs uh, for a top back broadband. That is for dissemination of information about uh, uh, AIDS and. Uh, uh, HIV and AIDS, and uh, with that, uh, there is it has generated some interaction uh, about with the SMSs and emails, uh, just uh, uh, to take the message across to teachers and students. Uh, this is a partnership uh, program with the uh, Brazilian uh, Brazilian government between Botswana and uh, Brazil, and uh, it's not just about uh, computers uh, and TVs. But radio lessons, ever since history, we have had this uh, for as an additional resource in the in the classrooms, together with the uh, with the cassette uh, with the uh, recordable cassettes uh, for the cassette for radio cassette recorders uh, for lessons uh, in the classrooms, mainly in our primary schools, and uh, uh, lately. We have had uh, the television, educational television also started. Um, the broadcast, our first broadcast uh, with that uh, started in, uh, in October, October last year. And uh, uh, with the programs mainly focused on the curriculum support, uh, but uh, other also educational uh, programs. This is a, a collaboration between uh, the Japanese uh, government, Japanese Broadcasting Corporation, and the ministry. Um, so this uh, is with the aim of building uh, life, uh, lifelong learning and creating a different expression in the in the classroom. Um, we have the media center also uh, for uh, production of electronic, both electronic and paper based but uh, in a well-equipped 
uh, equipped to uh, to radio to, to uh, TV station standard. Uh, this equipment also, or this facility also provides e-learning, e-learning for teacher uh, professional development. Um, I have to rush through them because I'm a bit behind time. Uh, we have special education facility also for the visually and the hearing impaired learners plus the physical physical learners. So um, uh, we we providing all this uh, plus uh, uh, again we we have a prepared a sour. Imis is uh, is top of the day in the education cycle, education management and education management information system. Uh, where statement of user requirement, uh, statem, statement of user requirement is in the making uh, to integrate those systems that have been existing and the ones that we, uh, we are expecting to have uh, in the near future. Um, the infrastructure that we have there, uh, local area network, uh, the computers that are provided, uh, the V-learning for the virtual partitioning of the, the school, the, the classroom and the, and the administration, uh, the production unit like in the uh, special education needs center, um, uh, uh, the facilities that are provided. Um, so far since uh, 2007 uh, up to now, about 18 million uh, US dollars that are spent in uh, these key projects in, in education. The guiding policies there um, um, for government are uh, MAITAMU, that is the national ICT policy, Botswana National e Government Strategy, uh, the vision 2016 for the long term vision for the country, revised national policy, and the national development plans. Uh, uh, including MDGs. We have challenges of power, uh, the legislative framework, um, and the shortage of skilled personnel, slowness and access uh, uh, to online services due to bandwidth limitations, uh, the cost of software licensing, um, and uh, all these uh, the challenges that we are facing that we uh, will look up to the private and other uh, sister countries. Uh, to assist to overcome on how we can overcome uh, all this, uh, but we are trying uh, uh, our best. So, like I indicated, uh, since I run out of time, uh, for further details and uh, more information on this, I think we are here, like I indicated, and um, Mr. Muramoka is here uh, and myself. Uh, those are our contacts uh, for further communication and sharing of these ideas. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thanks for the listening.